Hi, folks. Hello. Welcome back. Say hi, Don. Hello, everybody. This is Don, the counterweight. Well, when it's off 10 thousandths of an inch, I just lean on it, and that... That evens it out? It well, thank you, sir. 22,000 pound machine, and I need a 180 pound old fart helping yeah, me. There you go. That's I'm beautiful. here to please. Today, we're going to work on this. I'm not in a very good mood today. You see, this morning I was robbed. I was at the gas station getting diesel for my tractor. And all of a sudden it happened. And all I know is my blood pressure went up real sky high. I lost all my money and they called the police and, and the EMS came and checked me out. And I finally had calmed down enough and they said I was okay. Police started taking their report and said, uh, when did this happen? I said, 20 minutes ago. And he said, well, it's broad daylight. Did you get a good look at them? And I said, yes, sir, I did. How much did they get? $175. So, well, could you identify them if you saw them again? I said, hell, I can show you right now. They're right over there. And he says, where, where? And I said, right there. Diesel pump number two took all my money. It's a good joke. <laughs> it was funny the first time I heard it. Anyway, today we're going to go to part two of working on this uh, Bridgeport mill table. We're going to plane the hard part, the, the dovetails and everything. We've got six surfaces to plane, and we're going to set it up and take you through the whole shebang. But first, When people do me right, I like to talk about those people. And I bought a kit from uh, Jody at Weldmonger, weldmonger.com, I believe, for my TIG torch. And it was a really expensive kit. It was like $350. And I swear I had a number 17 torch. My old torch was. So I ordered a number 17 kit. Well, it showed up, I'm looking at it, and it doesn't look like consumables for my torch, which I read on the side is a 20. So, I got back on the website. I sent them a message saying I needed to return it in RMA, and why. I said, I'll happily pay shipping and everything. And so then, I waited for it to be approved. Well, an hour later, I get a message that said my package is shipped. And I'm going, well, wait a minute. They, they, Jody sent me a $350 kit in the mail immediately without even talking to me. That's service. It really it's was. It's trust, too. It's trust, too. Thank you, Jody. I like your kit, by the way. In fact, Jody sent me a sticker. And I've never been one for stickers much. Don likes stickers. Maybe buy him one. <laughs> so I'm going to start a sticker wall. And Jody can be the very first one. In fact, I'm going to make a sticker door. And that'll make it to where I can uh, probably clean up a little bit better on my door. So Jody's going to go very first one. This is what I don't like about stickers. I never know well, how to work them. Steve's a stickler for details. So. Well... There's no pull here to clean off. Dang, Don. Yeah, give me I don't have any fingernails. Well, Don's going to fix that. I guess I could put up my new sticker. Don, you didn't steal all the stickers, did you? Yeah. Might have to get you to work this one, too. You get it? All right. These are on sale on the website, $100 no, a piece. We don't have a website. Oh, my website, $100. Oh, your, your website. There it is. Thank you, Jody. Go right here. Up where my fingerprints won't get you all dirty. Come on now. 
Isn't Old easy? man, you can't see your fingers oh, on the end it. of that. I can see it. They just don't give you much to... Uh... Anyway, while he's doing that, I'm going to talk about the, the planer and what we're doing. In part one, you saw us measure it out and figure out what was wrong with it. It had about an 11 thousandths of an inch droop. So we set it up jacked it up on all the four corners to where it was back to factory level and then planed the bow out of the top of it. After we did that, I've now turned it face down onto the table, stone the table first. And so now we're using the reference of the table to plane the dovetails. Thank you, sir. Hey, this would be pretty good. If I ever show up dead and you need Don's fingerprint, it's right here on the back of this sticker, okay? Thank you. I'll put mine right there. Ta da! Yay! All right. Back to business. Would you put this over there, sir? No, 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 no. See, there's no place over there. Just find a place. Today, not, we need to make it's sure... It's not easy in your shop to find a horizontal surface. They're everywhere. That's available. Oh, that's available. To accept something. All right. This surface is the technical one. The first surface, you just level it off, get it to where you take the least amount off and get it square. But this one has dovetails. We need to plane this surface underneath and on top. So six sides and it needs to be lined up perfectly. The top surface, you're basically just planing in one plane, one horizontal plane. This one, we're planing basically in two dimensions. So this surface needs to be parallel with the table movement. So we're going to have to indicate it in. Anything you want to say about that, Don? Any smart-ass smarts? No. From the peanut gallery? That's your reference surface. Okay. Very good. <clears throat> we're going to hurry because it's going to get hot in here. Just for you little viewers, we turned the air conditioner off. And fat people get sweat real easy. So. I've lost weight. Hmm. In fact, I can put you on a diet right now. I can make you lose weight immediately. 25 pounds of ugly fat can disappear. Immediately. You want to do it? Taking a dump will do it. I just cut your head off and that'll take care of that. I can take a dump and lose weight. <laughs> Not 25 pounds. That depends how much we eat. I bought tacos for Don. Okay. The first thing we're going to do is set up this table. I put a stop block here so that the table doesn't go this way on us. These little blocks will go on either side of it once we finish it. And that'll keep it from shifting side to side. And I've got the back bolted down to the table to keep it from lifting. Before I forget it, we're going to do something that on this one we're going to need to do. This table is bowed like this. The ends are eight thousandths higher than the middle now. So we're going to take more material off the middle than we are or excuse me, off the ends in the middle, so I need to chamfer the good on both ends. Watch your eyes. I've stoned this edge right here, and we're going to be using an indicator to indicate this movement in and out. 
Unfortunately, with a hydraulic planer, there's not much movement except by the hydraulics. So we're going to load this back up where it won't move. And then I'm going to warm up the machine. We'll bring you right back. I'm going to use a variety of different tools today. I'm going to use these so we can get in underneath this uh, overhang right here. We'll be coming in like this and going in. And then when it reaches the end of its travel, I have to actually pick this up so it'll clear this and hold it until it gets down here. We're going to let the table go full stroke for that reason. Clear prop. Three phase being generated. We are. How is the table going to? Tool will clear the table. Not, it's not going to hit the tripod, right? It doesn't go past. No, it doesn't go that far. Okay. Then we start her up. There you go. Build a little pressure. You guys might go for a ride up here. <laughs> Put it on there and indicate it. I have to take these off so I can get to this side of the table. There we go. I'm sorry. Okay. I've, I've gone ahead and used my down and dirty tool get it in rough alignment. This is just something I made a long time ago. Goes up against here and you use this side of the table here to, to line it up. Close it is. I'm going to put that tight and that tight. Let's see if we can do it that way.
thousandths out. Stay it that way, right? Why don't you just turn this a little bit so it gets to half of that. We're going to go that way. Turn a little bit. I didn't know that, John. That's what I was doing. I'm so sorry. That's exactly what I was doing. That's I didn't right. know that. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I was wrong. Damn. All right. Quit leaning on the machine. <laughs> Can I push the machine? We need to go 30,000. Hold on. Close enough. We're, we're there. All right. If you would take this off, find a horizontal surface, Don. That's an impossible task. Go over there by the granite plate and put it on the end of Bob. All right. Now that we have that done, we need to plane these upper surfaces. Change your bit, right? No, the bit is okay. Oh, that's right. You're gonna do the top ones first. This is. Yeah, you're gonna do the top ones first. Well, the bit's in there. And I'm gonna use it. Yeah, makes sense. Now. We have to do these surfaces here. 
Now this is a picture of the surfaces here. We need to do this one, this one, and then underneath here. And the same size on that side. You can tell here this surface by the cross hatching, this was as it was milled. This one, you can see the mill marks too. I don't think they ever scraped that. They just fine milled it. Now this section, they relieved it. And I've marked that and I'm going to relieve it the same way. So, hmm. We're going to take care of these two. These don't touch anything. We're just doing it to give them some more relief. <laughs> anywhere close to that on the others. farther remember I said if you didn't bevel it it would tear out on the ends that's what happens so you gotta bevel it taking a lot of stuff off All right. 
that concludes roughing this sucker or giving it a clearance pass. Check, you want to check it with an indicator? There's a little leeway in here. At the bottom of this V is a gap. So as long as I'm pretty confident that's where we are because we're going down at that angle, it'll be fine. Like yeah. that side. Those surfaces don't really ride on anything. Like this surface here is just there. It supports the back side of that dovetail. Sitting down, you never sit down. Stay out of your way. Oh. You call the fun out. I can't lean on the machine no more. Can't lean on the machine. The file police are gonna love you for that picking up the file every time. You know? I don't care what the file police call. It is not a precision service. No, you're doing it right. You're doing it according to the right way. Oh. Pick up the file after every stroke. I like nice long strokes. Of course, you wouldn't know anything about that, Don. So. You mean in your dream? <laughs> in my dream. <laughs> All right. Now we have to do a tool change. You can get a lot on this side. Now I gotta get under that lip. And to do that, I need this tool. So it'll be like this. You don't want. I yeah, know you need Where's a little my relief. Hand me my camera. You need a little relief, I know. Yeah. You don't want to get close, right? At least. What Don's talking about is that angle right there. I don't want it to be flat on here. I just want the first little bit of it to be taking a cut. You need the relief. All right, Mr. Don. You tighten everything up? That's what we're fixing to do.
Okay. Now, also, we're going to be taking a much finer cut. So our step over is going to be not this almost a quarter of an inch like that. And to do that, I have to come down here. I have to come down here and go s hydraulic motor. And then we'll see where it is. <laughs>
right there in front of your hand. Down, 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 down. Right there beside the box. To the right. It'll bite you. I'm looking for a different kind of flashlight. You need to go one more. Well, I want to look at it both ends, sir. Not just one. Touch it on that one. Uh, 
We can go one more. Yeah, somebody said that. Who? I don't know. Somebody said you go one more time. I'm hard of hearing. I can't hear you. Keep my flashlight over here. I don't think you need to. I might be able to, but depends on the angle at the top here. Look, look on the. Well, it's, still, it's, it's pretty rounded there, so I think you're ready right close. Yeah. The corner's rounded pretty good. Yeah, it, it is. is. Round at least. I think it's good enough. Okay. Now I gotta transfer this measurement over to here. So we use You wouldn't the, do the top dovetail, the inside part of the dovetail while you do? Well I am, but I'm gonna take that measurement while I've got it. Oh okay. Called a this is called a planer gauge, and this is what they were made for. Planers. Not shapers, planers. Right, Don? Looks like a shaper gauge to me. Not quite, Don. Not quite. Okay. We're going to leave this measurement. I got it here. And when we set up the other tool, we'll use it to set this height. Okay. What I'm doing now is changing the angle of this to 50 degrees. That's the angle of this dovetail. I'm changing it is so I can power feed down.
Now, I don't know if you can see this in here very well, but what I've done is I've adjusted everything in angle, and I have this blade just barely touching the surface, and I have a uniform mark all the way across now. So that's at the angle of that table. We'll move down to the other side and check to make sure it's right. can see there I made a mark the same depth here as I did on the other side hope you can see that so that tells me this is truly lined up this way So we're ready to plane this. Now this is a very technical plane because I'm going to be doing a lot of it by hand and uh, I'm tired. You would be too if you messed with Don all day. Don went home by the way, had to go feed his dogs. So what I'm going to do is break this video up into two parts and come back. We're ready to sit there and plane this one then we'll skip over to the other side. And we're done. Thank you for watching.